Give you some time with me. Back to, I believe, was in the book of Ephesians. Mm -hmm. Amen. Chapter four. Chapter four. Amen. And I want, I just want to read the last two verses there in chapter four. Uh, this morning I come up and and sitting in the office and didn't realize I had so much time. Amen. Amen, amen. brother. I am glad to make use of that time, amen. And I began to look up some words, and Brother Cletus come in was talking, and Brother Johnny come in looking for his uh, computer Bible, amen. And uh, I pulled mine out of the desk, and I said, showing it to Brother Cletus and showing him how it works, amen. And if you don't have one of those little computer Bibles, let me tell you, they're very handy, amen. You can look up a word, a phrase, something, just a part of a sentence, amen, that a scripture that you know in the Bible, amen, and plug that thing in, and you can hit a button, and that thing will take you right to that scripture mm -hmm. and wherever else throughout the Bible. If it says that ten times, it'll show you all ten places, amen. But, um, so I was showing that, and I just looked up a word, amen, called clamor, amen. And clamor is only listed in the Bible in that one verse. Amen. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I was able to plug that word in and, and I misspelled it. Amen. And of course it brought me to correct spelling and it showed me three different spellings, three different words that were similar to what I had spelled. And I showed Brother Cletus, I said, see, I misspelled it. Now it gives me three, three other words that spelled similar to what I spelled. And, but this is the word we're looking for, Brother Please. Now watch this, and I punched it in. And when I punched it in, it brought us straight to Ephesians chapter 4, verse 31. Amen. And it says, Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be ye kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, have forgiven you. Amen. Let's go to the Lord tonight in a word of prayer. Amen. Father God, we thank you tonight, Lord. I praise and glorify you for your awesome word, Father God, that you've given, Lord, for, through your inspiration of your spirit, God. Unto godly men, Father God, we thank you for this tonight, God, and we thank you, God, that you, you trust us with your word tonight. God, as we come humbly before you, God, I ask you to teach us, Father God, God, throughout this word tonight, God, and help us, God, give us a clear understanding of that which you would have us to be, Lord. And I praise you and glorify you as your word says that you're a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Without your word, Lord, we're in the dark, God. Without your word, we're lost, God. God, we need your word tonight, God, yes. more so than ever before. We ask you to give us revelation and knowledge of your word tonight through your spirit. In Jesus' sweet name we pray. Amen and amen. Give the Lord a big hand clap. Amen. Before I go on to this, let's look one page over. Amen. I, I looked in a little devotional this morning, and it's got to do with uh, raising your children. Amen. But it's similar to what I was studying on last night. Amen. And uh, so I thought it was very convenient and something that was very good to add to what God had gave me last night. Looking over in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 4, it says, And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I want to read this little devotional real quickly to you. Amen. It's not but about four paragraphs, so I'll make it quick. Amen. It says, We want our kids to be successful and to avoid the same mistakes we've made. 